Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of installing React and creating a React app. Before we dive into React, we first need to download Node.js. This is an important step because Node.js provides the environment that React needs to run. So let's quickly install Node.js and then we can start building our React app. So first, you need to open your favorite browser and type Node.js download in the search bar. Then hit enter. You should see a link to the official Node.js website at the top. Just click on that link to open the Node.js site. Once you're there, you'll be directed to the official Node.js download page. I'll also provide the link to this site in the video description so you can access it directly. Now I'll click on Pre-built installer. On this page, you'll see two download options. LTS, which is more stable and recommended for most users, and Current, which includes the latest features but may be less stable. So I recommend you to install LTS 1. So LTS version at the time of making this video is version 20.18.0, and it also includes NPM. So NPM version is version 10.8.2. So select your operating system here. I'm going to select Windows and keep this as it is. Now I'll click on Download button to start downloading. You can see that download has started. Once the download is complete, simply click on the downloaded file to install it locally on our system. At this point, click on Install anyway, and you'll be greeted by the Node.js setup wizard. Simply hit Next to continue. Now you'll see the license agreement. Feel free to read through it if you'd like. Once you're ready, select I accept the terms, and then click Next to proceed. This is the Node.js destination folder. You can leave it as the default, and click Next. Now you'll see a list of files that will be installed. It will also automatically add Node.js to your environment variables, which is an essential step. No need to change anything here, just keep everything as is and click Next. Next, it will ask if you want to install Chocolatey. Since I don't need Chocolatey right now, I'll leave everything as default and click Next. Now we're ready to install. Click Install. You may see a prompt for administrative privileges. Just click Yes. And that's it. The installation has started. You can now see that Node.js has been successfully installed. Simply click Finish to complete the setup. So it's time to create our React app. So for that, let's first create a new folder in my desktop. So let's create a new folder, and I'm going to give the folder name as React, and I'm going to go inside that. Once you're in the folder, simply right-click anywhere inside. From the menu that appears, select Open Terminal, or Open in Terminal, depending on your system. You'll be seeing that command prompt is rightly open within our React directory on our desktop. So here let's write one command to create our React app. So I'm going to just simply type npx and then create dash react dash app. And after that, I'm going to give the app name as my app and I'm going to hit enter. You might notice it asks whether you need to install a package such as the react tab. In my case, it proceeded automatically without asking for confirmation. However, if you're prompted, just type the letter Y and hit enter to proceed. Make sure your internet connection is active as the necessary files will be downloaded. This process may take a couple of minutes. Once completed, you'll see a success message. Our React app is properly created over here. So you now you can see our My App is actually created within our React folder. So now let's go inside our React app folder. So type cd space my app and hit enter. Now you're inside my app project that you have created. So now, just simply type code then dot and hit enter. You can see it is rightly opened our Visual Studio code where we have my app, right? So this my app is our React app. So you can expand our source folder to see all the files. So you can see we have our index.js file over here. Then we have our index CSS file over here. We also have app.test file. So this is a testing file and our app.js, app.cs, everything we have. So if you click on this package.json, you can see that our latest version of React at the time of making of this video 
is rightly installed, and you can see our scripts as well. So start, build, test, eject, everything is properly written, right? So now what you need to do is you need to click on this triple dot and to enable these NPM scripts. As soon as you enable that, you'll be seeing NPM scripts over here. So just simply expand that and click on start run button of this start. So immediately you'll be able to see it is rightly started building our React project. So once it gets successfully built it, it is going to automatically redirect to our browser. So on our localhost 3000 browser, and you can see that our React app is properly running. And that's it. Thanks for watching.